five cycles. And that is that person in the middle is the customer for the organization. I know having spent my time in IT from an operator back when there was paper to rip off and tapes to mount things, it's hard to see that sometimes. And, and the customer becomes somebody else inside the business or inside the department. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the end customer, or if you're in City of Ottawa, it's the person who pays their taxes. If you're in the government, it's, it's a, a voter. That is the same for everyone, everywhere in the organization. If you have that, if you have that common understanding of what's going on, you have the ability to create alignment. And I want to talk about alignment. It's one of my least favorite words. Uh, I spent a lot of time worrying about it. When I became CIO for Cognos, uh, late in the last millennium before some of you were born, I'm sure. Um, I thought, well, I better figure out what a CIO is because I've been a long time doing products. And I read magazines because that's where you learn these things. Anything with CIO in the title. And they all talked about we should have business IT alignment. I thought, well, that, that makes sense. I would like to create alignment between IT and the business. So, so I worked very hard to do that. And the three years that I was in that, or well, four years almost, I can tell you I never got near it. There was never, there were lots of meetings. You've been in these meetings, right? We all disagree, so we're all going to sit in a room. And we're all going to come out aligned. Now, that usually means we won't talk about what we don't agree on. But we come out of that room, and we're aligned. We're moving forward. And a month later, we all get together in the room and say, how come we're not aligned anymore? And we repeat this process throughout a project or throughout the solution to some problem we're trying to pursue. It doesn't seem to happen. And I'll tell you, about two years ago, I was sitting uh, in a lobby waiting to go into a meeting for a, a high-tech company, and there's a magazine with CIO on the cover, so I picked it up, and it said, we need business IT alignment. Okay, it's been 15 years. You think we could have figured it out in 15 years, but we haven't. We're not very good at it, and that's because we don't do it right. And this is a classic model of how to get alignment between the business and IT, and you'll see this uh, taught in schools. You'll see a lot of... Uh, uh, consulting companies will use this kind of a, of a picture. And it's got business on one side and IT on the other. And that's the first point I go, that doesn't make any sense. Business and IT, why are they separate? Surely IT is part of the business. This is fundamentally flawed in here. It keeps everything apart. In order to get alignment, we must have a common understanding of things and we must be all part of the same thing. If we break ourselves up, we're not going to get aligned. 